Hello, uh, this is a strange setup, isn't it? Uh, basically, I need to do a review, like, physical requirement now, it's really getting to me, and this thing is not working unless it's literally on charge, and my reco uh, recording area is not where the charger is, the charger is just down there. So this is my sitting area, I've cleared off the table, and I haven't done a review like this since I had my knee operation and I couldn't sit at the desk. I believe that was animated snarl good times. So I'm going to do a quick review, uh, try and do it quick, so bear with me. That's going to be on what I unboxed the other day, which is the uh, three bar cars combined mini champion from the uh, Tobot thing. Pretty sure this is a knockoff and it's actually called, uh, oh yeah, three robots combined to be called Deltatron. Hmm, okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm still convinced this is a knockoff, but fine. And the three cars involved are these. And they're not bad, they're quite small. I've completely forgotten to have uh, size comparisons. You're gonna have to take my word for it. Look, there's my hand. Uh, have I got anything? 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 Uh, no, whatever, they're quite small. They're, um say scout to legend scale they're, they're reasonably small they're not tiny but reasonably small and you've got hang on let's just check the box <clears throat> because these have got names there's alpha beta and theta so alpha is the super futuristic -y kind of really neat one really neat I like the look of this one really neat uh, like the fact they put screw holes as the exhaust. That's quite clever. Uh, giant holes in the side, which you know won't be used for anything ever, honest. But otherwise, quite neat. Beta is just like a something you'd see off like a Fast and Furious uh, Three Tokyo Drift, I believe it was. It's quite light. Even underneath, you can kind of get an idea of what it is, but it doesn't give a lot away. That's quite cool. You like that one? And. <coughs> Yeah, someone tried to uh, upgrade their mum's car, you know, like put a body kit and stuff on it, and it really doesn't look right. Uh, back window's not painted, uh, shame, but who cares, no detail, whatever, it's fine. But it's a cute little thing, look, look, look at the shape of it, look at the state of that. But it's cute. Now, this set, I believe I put pictures on Instagram, but I compared them very much to a similar set, being... Three-part mini Titan, Triton, whatever he was called. I can't remember. And these are actually bigger. Believe it or not, these are actually bigger. I'll have to combine those off screen in a minute. But I'm not pausing because I don't know if I'm going to last that long. So we're just going for it. We're going at it. We're going hardcore. Uh, so the main point of these is they combine. Combining is good. So can you tell I'm Russian? Uh, in for Mother Russia. No, I'm not that Russian, but you get the idea. So we're gonna do this one first. So we're gonna get the whole front section of the car, and it even goes underneath to this piece here, and on this not obvious hinge here. Bend it all the way up, like that. Some nice little detail in there of like pneumatics and stuff. That's cool. And then we're going to fold out these pieces up to here, and up to here, and rip it in half. Huzzah! Legs. Okay. And what I do like, which I've noticed, is, uh, can you see there, there's that little line? They've actually angled uh, the underneath so that it sits a bit more evenly. It's quite nice, which is why they don't like standing up on their own so much. we get this one, and uh, we're going to Get the whole front half of this massive obvious line here. Get this whole front half and fold it forward. And I might as well do this now. Here, you might just be able to see there's that little lip. Get your nail under there if you've got one. Flip out that and that. And then rip this in half. Now using the outside of the car, not the inside, you, you'll have to bring this down a bit to expose this hinge. Rotate it. I'm not straight enough a bit more. And that's an arm done. 
That's quite straightforward, isn't it? So we'll do that. This is just to expose that hinge. Right? If you try and do it otherwise, because of how square these pieces are, they will catch on each other. So expose, rotate, also straighten up, because you can. There you go. Legs done. Oh, sorry, arms. What am I doing? And this is the best one. This is just... I love how this works, because it's really simple, but really works well. And it is as simple as this. You get this giant lip here, rotate that down, you get this little panel here, and fold it up, and it does just about grip on there. And that, I believe, locks into place, or does it not? No. Then on these hinges here, you fold all that over, and it's, it's quite a meaty clip, but it does sort of clip on there. Fold that down, and then this piece clips onto that piece. And and that's the body. Holes for the arms, holes for the legs. And it's really simple. There's there's no excess, there's no bits hanging off. It's beautiful. So we'll slap the legs on. I didn't want to rush this video, but it's only a little thing and it's only simple combiner. They haven't got their own individual modes. I thought I'd be able to do it quick and it hasn't died on me yet. No, touch wood. Slap the arms in. I'm rushing now because I know it's going to cut off on me. Uh, or I worry it will. Uh, slap this arm in. <coughs> and there he is in raw mode. I mean, what more could you ask for? And because the way it's done, uh, because the uh, round connections, arms go all the way around. You've got the elbow, you've got a bit of a, a forearm swivel. Legs forward, bend, no out to the side, you could get toe if you really want, but that's really good. Now, let me just keep talking about stuff while I uh, try and transform these quickly off screen. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, um, uh, I, I'm still waiting for a new battery, uh, but I double checked the other day and... Uh, <laughs> ooh, messages, that's neat. Uh, I double checked the other day and it might not be here until um, sometime in June. That's going to be neat. Uh, <laughs> so, unfortunately, I, this is this might have to be what we put up with for now, kids. I'm sorry. There's there's not much else I can do about it, and I need to put something out because I'm I'm dying not doing these reviews. Being lazy and not doing them is one thing, but not being able to do them when you want to is painful. Like, ah, uh, it's it's not a nice sensation. I'm just transforming mini Triton thing, whatever it's called, off the top. Uh, off screen, that's the word. Uh, still not cut out on me yet. Quick, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> it's like having a gun to your head. It's like, do it now or we'll ruin it. It's like, I don't want it to ruin. I'll have to do it again. I don't want to do it again. Uh, I've tried to do so many reviews and it's killed me. <laughs> Stop sending me messages, whoever you are, because I had to reset this phone and I lost all the numbers and I don't know. I suspect it's my brother. I don't actually know. Uh, nah, nah. Connecting things off screen. Putting arms into slots and connecting them, yes. And then I've got to do the funny wing bits, which I think just go in like this, but there's no adequate description as to where they actually go or how. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So, there's Titan Triton Warriors in robot mode. Do I need to bring this up? Possibly. I had to drop it loads just to get it up to work here. There we go. And so, yeah. I showed the vehicles were slightly smaller, and this guy is slightly smaller. But he looks so much nicer. This looks really... It's like having the 1970s version and the 2000s remake. You know what I mean? It, that's what they feel like. Uh, the only thing that I don't really like about this is he's got... Eve from Wally's head <laughs> with the eyes. The one thing I really don't like about this, and I believe that should turn, but when I tried to do it the first time I got out of the box, the head popped off, so I just sort of plugged it in, just, just leave it's fine. Um, but yeah, and I know this one's arms go in and out a little bit like that, so you can do the funky chicken, but his arms, due to the way they're connected to the, the square connection there, his can't go forward and his can. So he wins, basically. There's there's no question about it. And his big, weird, round clown shoes make him a little bit wobbly. 
and I've tried to fix these hips, it's still not having it, and so he's still a little bit wobbly here. This guy, he's a brick. So yeah, I, I fully, fully recommend this guy. He's brilliant. Uh, I believe there's quite a few of these Tobot guys going on there. If you look like a... Uh, I'll try and find a description or something, I'll put it down below, but if you look for those, there's quite a few of them around. I've ordered another one because this guy is so good. Um, they're really good, really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna scarf her because um, this hasn't cut out on me yet, so I'm going to call it a day there. So, uh, cheers. <sighs> That's not the proper outro, is it? So I should be I should be wretched, and hopefully I can keep doing these next time. Bye.